In this video I'm showing how to recover your autocomplete contacts in Outlook 2013. And just to clarify what I'm talking about here, this is the feature that whenever you open a new email message and you start typing the first letter of an email address, it gives you this little pop-up that you can click to autocomplete the email address. And what happens is that you could lose this list if you ever get a new computer or if your hard drive crashes or if you had to reinstall Office or something. Luckily it's pretty easy to restore and I'm going to show how to do that now. First thing, you can go ahead and close out of all your open Outlook windows. The way that Outlook stores these autocomplete contacts is in a file, so you'll have to have access to the computer where you were using Outlook before. And to locate that file, you just open up an Explore window. We have to show hidden files and folders to be able to browse to this directory. And to do that, you click on View, and then Options, and Change Folder and Search Options. And then click on the View tab, and make sure Show Hidden Files and Folders and Drives is selected, and say OK. And the directory we want to browse to is in the C drive, in the users folder, and in the folder that has the name of your profile, app data, local, Microsoft, Outlook, Rome cache. In this folder you'll see a file here at the top named stream underscore autocomplete followed by a whole bunch of random characters. This is the file that Outlook uses to store the autocomplete list, so we'll need to copy this over from your old computer onto your new computer. Once you've retrieved the stream autocomplete file from your old computer, we'll want to go back to your new computer and actually browse back to that same directory. And to do that, I'm just going to open up Explorer here, and you'll have to make sure that Hidden Files and Folders is enabled, which it is. And then browse back to the C drive, Users, the username, App Data, Local, Microsoft, Outlook, in the Rome Cache folder. And in here you can see that there's a small one kilobyte stream autocomplete file. What happens is if you've sent a few emails with Outlook, it started building a new stream autocomplete file. So this next part's a little bit trickier, but it's still pretty simple if you follow the steps. Essentially what we have to do is we have to take the stream autocomplete file from your old computer and use it to replace this one. And how we do that is by tricking Outlook into thinking they're the same file, which is pretty simple. All we have to do is just give the old file the same name as the new file. And to do that, I'm just going to right click on the new file here and say rename, and then right click again and say copy. And then I'll have to browse to the directory where I have the old stream autocomplete file stored. In this case, I have it in my downloads folder. Right click on the stream autocomplete file from your old computer and say rename, right click again and say paste, and then hit enter. Your old stream autocomplete file should now have the same name as the new one. And now right click on it and say copy. And I'm just going to hit the back button here so that I can quickly get back to the Rome cache directory. And then we just want to paste the stream autocomplete file from your old computer in this directory. Because the files have the same name, you'll get this prompt asking if we want to overwrite. We do, so go ahead and click on replace. So now essentially what we've done is we've taken the stream autocomplete file from your old computer, given it the name of the stream autocomplete file on your new computer, and put it in this directory. So now we can go ahead and close out of all the open folders we have, and then open up Outlook. And now when you click on New Email and type a letter, you can see that the autocomplete list is restored. So that's it for this video. Hit the like button if this was helpful, and thanks for viewing.